Alright, and welcome to another Spinal Serum Boss on Mega Man Battle Network 1. This time, we're gonna do Color Man. Uh, this run is probably one of the trickiest ones, just because the first save is not as easy as all the other ones I've shown so far. So this one still involves running into the corner as soon as you go into the area where we're gonna walk into. But we're actually going a little backwards. We're starting on Area 10 and going back to 9 where Color Man spawns also. As always, make sure to all have already beaten Color Man version 2. Anyways. I might not get this on the first try, but I will show the first attempt. And then if I don't get it, I'll show you guys the correct attempt. Anyways. So first, we run into Area 9. Walk and go forward. Diagonal. Until we hit this corner. Diagonal. Right there. And save there. And restart your game. I might have fumbled my words a bit there, but the main thing you want to do is hit the corner right at the start, go straight down, go diagonal down, until you hit that second corner on the on the way down. Go straight, and before you go past the last corner, go left into that corner I saved at. You might need to rewatch it a couple times to get it, but the next section is not too bad. And luckily, you don't even need to run for this part of the uh, the run. You just need to walk it. But you do have to wiggle a little bit for it to work. I'll sh as, as I said, I'll show the first attempt. If I don't get it, I'll just show the correct one. It's not much of a wiggle, though. And it's pretty easy to do since you're not running. When you're walking, it's really easy to do the wiggles that you have to do. So, here we go. You have to walk diagonal, go straight a little bit, and then diagonal there. And hopefully... Nope, I did not get it. So let me show you the correct attempt. And there we go. We got Color Man. Now, as always, I'm using Bux Buster Max. So, the tricky part about this fight is... These, uh, his little things are going to block your shots. That's the main thing that's annoying. So. And I didn't uh, move my chips around to be able to have my pop-up or one of my barriers or anything else that is useful in that regard. There we go. I should have waited long enough. Let's find out. Nope, I did not. If you want to play it safe, I guess you could take a hit just so you get the either a 10 or still an S depending on how fast you do it. But uh, if obviously, if you don't get what you want, all you have to do is restart your game right now and do the run again and you'll spawn them again. But anyways guys, I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.